Good evening, everyone on the internet again. My name is Mr. Smeg Hennigan, and tonight I'm going to be doing a let's play of The Binding of Isaac Wrath of the Lamb, Meet Forever. And I've got some people here with me who uh, I'm pretty sure have already started the video, so I should probably start it as well. <laughs> uh, if you'd like to introduce yourselves, um, we've got Orphan Shadow. Hello, I'm Orphan Shadow. I have a YouTube channel. It's of little significance to this video. So, hi! Uh, yes, we've got. What was it? Dagan Asmodai. Say your name. Oh, hello. Duncan Scotsman here. And we have Wibad. Sorry, hello. I cut you off. Hello. <laughs> Alright, and we, we're doing. What was it? Yes, I'm doing the. Uh, well, this is more of a post production thing. Um, I've done a Let's Play of Meet Forever with my own special uh, restriction, as, as they say. I've decided I decided it would be too easy to just go through the game, you know, shooting at everything with tears of rage, so I decided to not have Isaac cry. Basically, no shooting at all, although I would let myself use bombs due to restrictions in how the game can work, you know, enemies that are suddenly across gaps and shit. So yes, um figured I'd make sure where are we all right now? Um, hang on, hang on, uh one twenty one, two, three, all right. four. Hi. Oh, right. You there? Uh, let's see, and yes, we are there now. The little, I, I, I will put out a disclaimer before anything else. I have never played or even watched Finding of Isaac before, so oh, this, this is, is a brand new experience to me. This will be interesting to you. <laughs> uh, um, as far as I can see at the moment, there's a little red guy chowing down on some guy who seems to be made of stone, and it looks a lot like Zelda Dungeons. Yeah, just it's... with. Yeah, <laughs> it's based off of the original Legend of Zelda game. Uh, you know, dungeon layouts, keys, and bombs, and what have you. Except it's based off of the um, the Binding of Isaac from the Bible, as you might have guessed. Yeah. Yes. Um, the only thing I, I can really comment on now is that I'm getting horrible flashbacks to um, Oracle of Ages on the, the Game Boy Advance right now. Looking at all this screen scrolling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But yes, uh, one of the items that I found early on in the game, which you see me, you see me using in every room, is Guppy's head, which spawns attack flies. Very useful in this run because I can't actually. I made sure Isaac couldn't cry. Silly, silly tiny fly. It's redundantly useless. And yet they are tearing everything apart along with Meat Boy, who just goes, at, who goes at everything with wild abandon. Meat Boy here. Meat Boy doesn't have any relation to Super Meat Boy, does he? Yes, um, same guys made both that and this game. So yeah. That would explain a lot. <laughs> yeah. Meat, Super Meat Boy is a game I have played, but this one's brand new to me. Yeah. Um, what was it now then? Uh, we're all at the same area, right? Cellar 2? Yep, I'm right, there. Yeah. Brilliant. Um, something, there's some weird things you learn about uh, about the Meat Boy character as you try and fail several times to finish the game without, you know, crying. He's he's pretty strong, but he's a complete... he can be a complete idiot in that if there's something around that is invulnerable but can still be targeted, he goes straight for it and doesn't stop chasing it. It's... It, that Enjoy. comes into play later, let me just say that. I've got images of my head of a cat in a laser pen. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> Oh, I got one of the um, one of the best, one of the very useful items if you can find shops and coins. The steam sale, which halves everything. Well, that you know, that was a sentence. It just halves every back, price. Carry on. Just going back to that uh, cellar. Did I just see pills here? Yes, yes, yes. you did. <laughs> it's there, there's a lot of references to other internets. Must must avoid paraphrasing Left 4 Dead. <laughs> Don't buy the game. already does it for you? Uh, oh god, and oh, what the I fuck is that? I hope you're not terrorophobic. That, that's a widow, that's nothing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're, you're speaking to somebody who is, um, uh, let's say, terrified of spiders. <laughs> oh, it's only got four legs and four <laughs> eyes, you'll be fine. And cross tiny spiders out at you, it's yeah. fine. Oh good, he's dead. Yeah. Um, although I, I notice um, supreme lack of rolled up paper. Yeah, yeah no. <laughs> I'll be just right. eating everything, so you're fine. And then I go into the devil room and think, oh, I'm going to get a nice deal. Nope. <laughs> Another boss. I promise. <laughs> yeah. If you go into, if, if you've played this before, you'll know what's going on. If you haven't, I often. Um, <laughs> Krampus. I... <laughs> yeah. 
Krampus is a boss that appears at times in in <laughs> the stead of the Devil Room deals, which it gives you pretty awesome items, but costs you hearts. But if you manage to kill him, you get a lump of coal, which for this run is completely useless, but I still picked I up. I have to say, that last guy, he looked kind of like somebody um, stuck the be gooster face onto a bat and then impaled it with a fork. Well, that's an interesting thought on it, though. <laughs> it does! Yeah, that's... Wait, yeah, yeah, the meat boy and the cube of meat. Yeah, yeah, you can, you can theoretically get two full-powered meat boys on on this sort of run, but I... Double meat boy on. Yeah, it is amazing, but uh, unfortunately I'm... Cool. right. I, I think um, one cube of meat is all I get in this run. Sorry to spoil it, but it's 50 minutes long, so you know, it's, well, yeah, there was nothing in that shop that I could buy at the moment, but hey, it's there for the taking. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I am getting very serious flashbacks to the um, uh, Zelda Oracle games now, because okay. all this dungeon scrolling is just, yeah. oh, my mind. Oh, it's definitely no. worth a uh, pick up this game. Yeah, it's definitely worth. It is. Yeah, it's... Sorry, you carry on. I was gonna. I was just gonna say this is probably something I am gonna have to pick up at yeah. some point because um, it does look kind of interesting. Yeah. It's you know, I I have this horrible habit of ignoring popular games until they become unpopular and then suddenly finding oh my god this is the best game ever. Yeah. Yeah. No, it is fun. I. I always, I realized after you know recording and rewatching this video a few times to make sure I didn't miss anything, I came really close to death a couple of times with those green explosions, because they take off one heart. Oh boy. Now go back to uh, Orphan was saying that I can totally relate to that because recently I just bought Red Dead Redemption and I'm really loving the game. Yeah. It's kind of past its whole. Everyone uh, has this shining glory. Mm. I mean, it's a really good game, but. Uh, there, there are a couple of games that I just will not touch under any circumstances, such as the Halo franchise or anything made by Activision. Secret. But, um, you know, is one of those things where, you know, I, I, it's probably something I'm going to pick up after this mm. playthrough. It does look like uh, a pretty good way to, you know, have some fun. Yeah, although I will say it is, it is pretty deep. There are a lot of items you can get in the game and at least 10 endings, maybe 12. You know, loads of them. But yeah. So, uh, if you if you're paying attention to that um, room before the secret room, uh, it might pop up again. But there was a part where Meat Boy just would couldn't get to the enemies, which is oh, it'll pop up now. These guys. Yeah. Interesting. Yep. Oh I god, just, teleportation! I just decided to walk <laughs> the hell out of there. It was not worth my time. Where does that car take you? Anyway? Oh, the fool card takes you back to the uh, start of the dungeon. So it's useful. Oh. Well, uh, zomb that's zombies awesome. that sound uh, like... It's it's, that is the exact it's same sound that the zombies in Minecraft make. Yeah, yeah it's very lucky. Should have waited that hard. Yeah. I, I thought that as well, but then I thought, nah. Oh and yeah. what the hell is this? <laughs> first time I saw it, <laughs> first time I saw it, there were two of them. They were fun-sized. I thought they were demonic patties. I could swear I saw one of those next to my house last night. Must <laughs> <laughs> been some drunken idiot again. <laughs> oh god. But um, yeah, it charges at you, spawns flies, and is pretty much. Yeah, it's, it looks like a demonic burger. A this, bloody stool. This <laughs> reminds me of. I tell you what, this reminds me of that um, character from Skullgirls who um, it's, it starts off as a nun and turns herself oh, double. inside out. Yeah, double. Yeah, that would take one hit, but I'm still annoyed by it. Oh, and I got a coin purse. One of pills. Of course. Well, it's Mark's coin purse. Uh, the bad. Oh dear euphemisms. Oh, they, they, there's much worse, believe me. No, the tell you, the what was it? The bad trip pill is pretty, pretty weird. I will say. You you get to see what it does really later on. You know, the full potential as it is. But, had a yeah, but as it is, I just grab the pills and run. Golden pill. pills can be useful. Oh, heart. Yeah. If you manage to keep the white hearts alive until the end of the game, until the next floor, you get a full heart. Or of course, if you get a second one, that it just fills out automatically. But yeah, the cube of meat really does come in it 
it does come in useful at times if, um, say, Meat Boy is distracted by a shiny and you can't get it, you can't get him to kill anything. Question, but, what's a shiny? <laughs> oh, anything that's in... any enemy that's invulnerable but can be targeted. Because, you see, he goes for everything until it ki until he kills it, or he gets distracted. So uh, many yeah. yeah. Carry on. Yeah, he essentially has the magpie rule. Yeah. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah, these enemies are slightly annoying as you get up. And I nearly get killed there again, I realise. Oh, uh, it's getting tense now. Yep. This is like doing a boss character on Sonic with no rings. Oh, that's... Oh, that that's it nothing! Doesn't... It's still tense. <laughs> that's the epitome of pressure to me. No, no, no. Doing a Mario Galaxy level without on one of the Danger Mario levels. One hit, and that's it. How to drop a bombshell here? I've never played a Mario game. Oh, wow. The only Mario game I've ever played is Super Mario Sunshine. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I gave up halfway through because, honestly, I find Mario games boring, and I'm going to gain yeah. the ire of almost half the internet now. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Uh, Super Mario Sunshine isn't. It, it's a good game, but it's not like the other ones because it's got different gameplay mechanics and such. Yeah, I, I know it's different from. You know, I've seen videos of uh, Mario 64 and stuff like that, so I know that the mechanics are different. But it's the whole universe has always struck me as rather boring. Maybe that's just yeah. because I grew up with a Sega Mega Drive. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. And for any American viewers, uh, the Mega Drive is a European name for the Genesis. It's the Genesis? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help but get the Atomoids in there. <laughs> anyway. just, just, just in case any of your sub sub subscribers are, uh, you know, annoyed by semantics or anything like that. Yeah. These next couple of rooms are just made to mess with me. <laughs> can you tell why? <laughs> you can cross one gap, but not two. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh, and I managed to pick up an item, if you did, weren't paying attention, the ladder. It lets me cross one gap, one rock-wide gaps. Very useful at times. Cause also, it... more, more spiders, dear god. Yeah, these guys are devilish little bastards, because... I hate those things. Yeah, they no, pop The thing is, these are spiders with a human face. Yeah, no, a smiley face. How do you feel about that? <laughs> here's, um... here's, here's the thing, they... Oh, here's the shinies I was talking about. Those lovely piles of poop with nuts in them have eternal flies going around them, and as you can see, Meat Boy's having a whale of a time with it until I blow it up. <laughs> you can only you can only kill them after you destroy poop. Yeah, once once their source is destroyed, they start chasing you, and they take a lot more hits to destroy. But you don't have to destroy them to clear a room, thankfully. And the that, that was just a problem. <laughs> yeah. <That's bad. laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's the um, other weakness I found. If an enemy's faster than Meat Boy, then it starts getting into sort of Benny Hill-esque things, uh, type of thing, where it just chases it for a full minute. And I just realized oh, that enemy you... went over a rock. Hang on, was that a golden turd? A golden turd, yeah. which dropped yes. money. <laughs> the alien from American Dad's been here. <laughs> yes, <Cool>. Roger. Hello. <laughs> Yeah, that's his name. I couldn't remember it for a second there. My my brain suddenly went derp. No. Yeah. Oh, these these enemies very very annoying. If there's like six of them at once, because they can shoot grubs that take off a heart, one full heart. It's very destructive in the early days. I forget why I didn't edit this out. But oh well. Oh, and I think I dropped. It's, 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 I think it's just to see the taunting. Yeah. Of this game. Yeah, and. You might have guessed it, but um, if you see rooms that have like three adjacent, you know, three, an empty room with three aj adjacent rooms to it, there's a chance there might be a secret room there. Higher chance. Yeah. Mm. yeah. There's always one secret room, right? Yeah, there's one, always one secret room and one top secret room. It's a lot easier to find them if you've got the X-ray glasses, surprisingly yeah. enough, because that somehow breaks down entire walls of rock. Uh, so I'm sorry. Are those mean mean the mining helmet. The what now? Mining helmet, I think it is. Uh, no, that just lets you see if there's a secret room. The X-ray specs actually open the door, and what? I forgot yeah. I had the ladder until I got there. So yeah. <laughs> anyway, what? I was I was just gonna say those monsters back in the other room were they exposing themselves and what were they exposing? Because it <laughs> oh, it's, oh, so many elements of this game oh, yeah. horrify me at the moment. Yeah, it, it, it's actually meant to be exposing their guts. Like um, 
normally if they didn't have uh, those maggots in them, they would be shooting lasers of blood. I prefer that version. Yeah. Uh, it's, I, I won't say what I think it looks like, but it kind of also looks like... It does um, look like they're the flapping, I, yeah. Yeah, it, but it does also look like, you know, the eye of Sauron with a hangover. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's, here's one of my favorite things: the beggars. The dirty the... rotten teeth. <laughs> if you give them enough money, they drop items, and sometimes they drop useful items, like buckets of lard. Sometimes they don't drop useful items. Oh yeah. Or yeah, you all your damn money, all of it. Th thankfully, these guys throw explosives, so he doesn't get distracted by the shiny for too long. <laughs> and it's self-destructive. Oh god. <laughs> But yeah, here's another. If you, since Meat Boy can't really reach that sort of place without just charging for it, because they, can, he does seem to be able to cross gaps if he just really, really tries hard enough. Um, I forget what I was going with that. Oh, and here's a fun enemy, the Carrion Queen. I don't think uh, I've ever heard of it. A mod, yeah, it's a different, it's a champion version, so it acts differently. As you can tell, it's another one that moves fast, just fast enough for Meat Boy to not be able to catch. What do those hearts do? Oh, there. You'll see in a second if you pay attention to the health bar. Ah, they're like yeah. the other hearts. I will say as well, the um, front part of that worm looks kind of like um, Jabba the Hutt's exoskeleton or something. <laughs> I never thought it, 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 it's what it looks like. I mean, I you know I I've never played this game before. I can only see what I see on first thoughts. Yeah. Walla walla, sort of. Yeah. Chaba wamba. <laughs> No, the the way the way you're normally meant to beat this boss is you're meant to shoot its, you know, obvious weak spots until it starts pinging all over the screen like a bloody demented pinball. But this version, the hearts seem to, you know, do damage when you kill when you kill them. So obviously you got to kill the hearts, but they shoot at you, so I was afraid to go near them. Plus, you know, they're tiny bastards. I don't want to go near them. Actually, oh, with how this um this carrion things. Flying around the screen. Uh, another game I'm reminded of, Snake. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> it happens a lot of the bosses. <laughs> yeah, the normal version uh, poops out. What was it? Oh yeah, the game froze here for about a half a minute because it was it's generating to... a large thunder, isn't it? Yeah. Actually, this one was just a regular floor. The next floor That's was the... the next one was the regular floor. Was the Curse of the Lost, and it was like perfectly normal. You know, it had like a couple of seconds of load time, but that was it. I tried to bomb this guy out, but I realized, I have no bombs. <laughs> so I decided to just uh, go kill everything. I'll catch up on Isaac. So far, he has grown a twin out the side of his head. Stem cell. Uh, jabbed a coat hanger into his forehead, <laughs> ate some coal, ate some lard, uh, has a demonic piece of flesh floating around him. And an evil and... demonic piece of flesh following him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just just to catch up for everyone. Yep. And he's got a key. I forgot about that. But now he gets... Even more health. Right. Oh, well, no, lunch. It's fun time. That's what you need right now. More hearts. Of course. Well, considering I'm basically tank... I'm pulling aggro for a meat boy. It's what you need. Uh, I don't... Okay. Yeah. Ah, the pinky eye. I didn't really need it because it's only that useful when... Poison one? Yeah, it shoots poison tears at times. And that was the sec that's the second time a secret room has appeared in one of these areas. Because of the troll bombs. If, oh, if you couldn't tell the, the bombs that are set to go already, they, they they have troll faces on them. Yeah. And, and there's one that's, that wasn't chasing. Oh yeah, the mega yeah. troll bombs. They actually home in on you. I, can't, I couldn't actually see that, but... Yeah. I think there's a troll, a mega troll bomb that appears at some point. You'll be able to get a closer look at that one. Yeah, How long do you think? It, yeah, yeah. How long do you think it'll be before I lose that uh, eternal heart? Two rooms. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the fish head's much more useful than the uh, pinky eye because when Isaac gets hit, he spawns attack flies. Oh. Well, there's cool. a chance to do it. So you know, obviously much more useful than the pinky eye because I can't shoot. I think that is useful otherwise. Yeah. If you can see the uh, little skull icon there that's in the middle of nowhere, that's meant to be a secret room, but because the mini boss icon is there, there's greed instead. A boss who knocks your money out and 
just you know is a general bastard. One one other thing I have to comment on at the moment, just just the derpy little face that Meat Boy's uh, got yeah. as he's running around, like it's it's like. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's, it's like he should have the uh, voice of that guy from the Goonies. Hey, you guys. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, uh, Why did you have to reference that terrible movie? I have to reference many terrible things. <laughs> I've died slightly now. Oh, that's good. Uh, yeah, here we go. This is where the eternal heart dies. Uh, it's an unfortunate thing, but I just picked the damn thing up off, you know, reflex. If you look closely, you can see that bomb had the face. Yes, I saw it. Yeah. They it's, have... it's more like it's more like a troll skull, though. But yeah. hey. It's much more apparent on the Mega Troll bombs because they're much bigger and they have the grin inset into the bomb. Ooh, and I, this is an item that's useful if you've got the right items. An item. What does it do? If you get hit, the I, your spacebar item charges halfway by three blocks. Oh. Yeah. If you get hit twice, you can reuse your item. And I realized after a recording, I took the stupidest way to that uh, dark rock. So, yeah, pointing that out. And I forgot I had the ladder here. Yeah, no. <laughs> I didn't even. I didn't even get much. You have a lot of bombs, so whatever. Yeah, that that dwindled soon enough, believe me. Uh, yeah. Oh, That's and the hermit. the hermit whoops you to the shop. I figured I'd get some <laughs> use out of it. What's with the uh, little hanging guy in the shop? Oh, um, I don't. I never really, it's... really guessed the reasoning behind it, but it's basically a guy who sells you items. Shop I thought yeah. it was one of Isaac's brothers and sisters who didn't make it. Maybe. It might be. But, um, that... What was it? That's why the keepers all knock, you know, those uh, bouncing heads knock money out of you. See, if you notice, um, when I get hit... Oh, God. Have... Oh. Yeah, see? I can spawn more attack flies. But, yeah. Uh, that, that reminds me of something horrible. I'm just trying to remember what. <laughs> oh, here we go, an interesting item. The Two of Hearts. The Two of Hearts, right? Yeah. And uh, no, actually, um, the all the Two of Hearts clubs and such, they double your money, coins and bombs and such. The Two of Hearts doubles your hearts. Think of it like white wood. We also give you, give you two of the items if you don't have any of them. Yeah, if you've got like less, if you've got half a heart, then it just it puts you up to two hearts, which is you know same thing with bombs and keys. yeah. I mean, if you have zero hearts, then you you're doing something right or very wrong. <laughs> so I zero hearts and still running around. That is yeah. So I know we're I know you're doing like this special challenge playthrough. Uh, no, I mean, I come from the Final Fantasy universe where you can do like low level runs, no magic yeah. runs, stuff like that. Um, what? Other sort of runs can you do in Binding of Isaac other than this sort of like no missile run that you're doing? I can't really think of anything. I just did it. Off, I just did this one off the top of my head because I thought um, Meat Boy level four already. This is going to be too easy. I may as well restrict myself. I can't really think of anything else that someone would do. I mean, like maybe no bombs, um, refusing to unlock anything because you got a, no a horrible, a horrible fear of keys. I uh, mean, is it? Is it, does the game permit for things like, you know, no power-up runs or yeah, like that? Yeah, there's... One of the challenges the challenges you can do is the purest run, which stops any item room from spawning, and uh, you have to reach the cathedral and kill the boss there. It's a fun time. Is that the heaven thing? Uh, it's basically, like, you can eat... Once you reach the um, end of the fourth... No, not the fourth, the eighth floor, you can either go down into hell, or sheol, or you can go up to the cathedral, where you fight different enemies and bosses, and there you have lovely different skins. But yeah, this is um, don't know if you can tell, but he's got a sim. This guy has got a similar jumping mechanic to the widow, except you know he just dumps slowing slime everywhere. I think that's tough, actually. My th yeah, my first impressions of this boss, it's like a flan from the Final Fantasy universe just got infected with Ouroboros from Resident Evil or something. Mm. It's like, uh... Yeah. It's actually a reference to another one of, um... The... What was it? Edmund McMillan's... That was a word. Uh, games. You know, the first game he made, Gish. That's a weird game, by the way. I've played it. It is very difficult. It, I think I'm just horrible at it, but it's very difficult. You get little Gish for 
killing him, which, if you're, if you're shooting, he slows things down. But because I'm not shooting, he's just a lovely decoration. <laughs> With another dirty face. Hey! Aces for all! <laughs> oh boy. Those things are no, I'm I'm sorry that that's just permanently stuck in you in a euphoric face. It's like your yeah. life is so good. <laughs> Welcome to Pyro Land. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. It's, the oh oh god yeah. no. Yeah. I hate you did that in Green Demise. Imagine yeah, okay. how different Pining Rising would be. Oh, oh yeah, God, I was just gonna say, can you imagine uh, Pyro goggles when you're playing Pine Binding of Isaac? That'd oh. be a whole different game. <laughs> Yeah, see, these sentries, uh, the ones that... I don't know why I walked through that blood, but... These sentries count as enemies. They, they're they not as shiny to the to Meat Boy, but they're still there. And if they're on a gap, then Meat Boy just stands stock still. So, you're fucked if, he's, if there's enemies there. Oh, and those traps are also very shiny to him. Watch this. He barely moves an inch. <laughs> see? Oh, sometimes he moves. Oh, look. Oh, oh, oh. oh he's gone. <laughs> yeah, he does not God. But yeah. Oh yeah, and those bomb those flies explode because they're meant to be like bomb flies and such. Uh what was it? Yeah. Bomb flies. You, yeah. Odd 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 Yeah. Suggestion. As Proximity can, fly. Oh god. As, as you can <laughs> see though, I used the for the two hearts there because any other time, if you use it at any other time other than when you're at half health, you're not going to get much out. You're not going to get your maximum potential out of it. Ooh, a soul heart. Those count as armor hearts in this game, which is which are pretty useful because they get taken up first. And one character runs. Ex is, no, that was a sentence. One character <laughs> runs on. Imagine playing yeah, with that no character. You could take this out and be a challenge of sorts. Yeah, he's one of the characters you get to play as. And there's an item that turns you into him if you die. Is the it? Ank or yeah, the ank, which I get a lot of the time instead of one-ups. Oh, oh god, sound those things are making it yeah, right through me. Yeah, the babies, they're actually called baby. They they are horrible. Imagine four, or five, imagine four or five of them in a room, all oh, aiming god. at you. Yeah, no, it's no. horrible. <laughs> And they appear in challenge rooms. Yeah, these oh. guys... These guys do, like, one heart of damage, so I'm not exactly pleased with them. But thankfully there's no, like, versions with eyeballs who run twice as fast. Mm. Yay. Ooh, the Hanged Man. I don't know so if I got this. That lets you fly in a room, right? Yeah. It, it basically turns you into a flying head for one room. Yeah, you, you heard that right often. What's that? The card I just got, the Hanged Man, turns Isaac into a floating head for one room. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> See, did you get any shears during this? <laughs> I do not, um, I'm afraid. I don't get that any... would just mess with his mind. <laughs> yeah. I don't get any flying items, I'm afraid. Yeah, this is... Uh, that's what they're meant to do, if they don't have any flies in them. They just aim at you, and... Lasers. Oh. God, hang on, controlling blood? When did we step into Dead Man Wonderland? <laughs> I didn't notice that last night, unfortunately. But yeah, this is one of the rooms where Meat Boy doesn't exactly excel, because he can't reach the enemies. He'll he'll gladly follow you, but once once there's a gap, or a gap filled in with a rock, he's not crossing over it. Because he can't, he can't cross those gaps either. He, he can't cross over the ladder, and if you've blown a rock over a hole so it's filled in, you can walk walk over it, but until the game, like, sets it... I still took damage there, I don't even know why. <laughs> but until you've left the room and the game thinks it's actual floor, he won't walk over it. I actually saw that happen. It's something that he refused to walk over at one point. When I, when I left the room and re returned, you know, the enemy still in there, he went right for them. But didn't go for the other one. Very annoying. Was Meat Boy just doing a Benny Hill with the intestines? <laughs> I'm, surprised <laughs> you, I'm surprised you identified those those as a intestines straight away, because... I, I, I just, um, they looked a bit like intestines. They, yeah. they looked like a collection of strange mangled internal organs, so I just thought yeah, they're they intestines. Are. They are, actually. I, I, I didn't think that the first time I saw them. I thought they were just weird fish. 
you know, I just see them and then think of aliens. Uh, it looks it's more like a, a prawn. <laughs> yeah. Think of prawns. But yeah, something Sorry, something else I noticed. Thing. If um if Meat Boy Clyde you know, collides into them in a certain way, they get knocked off their path and go somewhere else. Ah, I was glad for that card. Very useful. Drop two hearts. Actually, no, I know what they remind me of. Uh, chest busters from Alien. Oh, that's oh what, god! That's, that's what I'm saying. They look like uh, aliens. They, they look like fish-lipped aliens. Now, now that's missing is John Hurt. <laughs> oh god! Oh lord! <laughs> oh, oh see, this is what I meant. Oh, Babies from. Oh. Thankfully, <laughs> no. boy takes care of them pretty quickly. Oh, and more appear. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, they just teleport. Oh, okay. You know that—that's how big. <laughs> it's, it's okay. They just teleport. It's fine. It's fine. Nothing to worry about. Hopefully, I remember the ladder here. Put away some bombs, otherwise. Yeah, true. Oh, well, I don't go for those unless they're like dimes or something. Unless you know, I have infinite bombs. Oh. Now, why would you have infinite bombs? That's uh, never happened. What was it? Either you get the pyro item or one of the fetus items from Super Meat Boy. We either shoot, we either shoot bombs as tier, uh, bombs instead of tears, or you just drop guided missiles on everything. Like guided missiles, what? <laughs> yeah, there's an item. Yeah. There's an item you can get called the Doctor's Remote. With oh, here we go. This is why I like the ladder. Enemies can't push it. Camp the corner. <laughs> But yeah, there's an item you can get called the Doctor's Remote, which drops a guided missile on an enemy. But yeah, I was like, ooh, do I go for it? Do I go for the Book of Revelations? What does it do? It gives you soul hearts. Well, one soul heart immediately. Oh, and I get another Hermit card, which I decided to use. <laughs> I just figured, you know what, why not? It's combined with the habit that I already have. It can make you effectively immortal until you reach the um, seventh day, the seventh floor onwards, because everything does like half the hard damage unless it's like a big shot. And if you take two hits of damage, your, your items recharge. So go right ahead and use it. That's pretty yeah. game breaking from the sounds of it. It is, but oh, once once you, once you reach nothing. once you reach, the, see there you go. I've just taken tons of damage and I'm already healed. Yeah, oh. that's that strikes me as yeah. game breaking. Oh, but once the yeah, and here we go. The error room. I I thought I'd use the pills because why not? And hey, look, I don't have to fight the I don't have to fight the boss. I got a golden key, which was completely useless by that time because yet, it, yet uh, more game breaking. <laughs> normally, I was meant to fight Mom there, which you know, um, giant. Oh, map. the game froze here again. You know, it's game breaking a boss map here. I think. Yeah, this is. The Womb Labyrinth. Ah, oh. yes, the womb. Um, and everything looks so bright and squishy. Yeah. It's the womb, that's why. Oh, one of the fortune telling machines. This can drop cards, which I get another hanged man. Um, uh, what was it? Trinkets, which can be useful at times. Soul hearts. Oh, most of the time it just gives you stupid uh, platitudinous things like that. Hey guys, we all die one day. Isn't that it's fun? Like cancer. And what's that? The black cancer. heart is cancer. It doubles your fire rate, which, as you can tell, is completely useless. The other, the, black, is, but... the other black item there is the burnt penny, which, if you pick up a coin, has a chance of giving you a bomb. And the other item, the goat hoof, increases your speed. Although I think that might have been broken at one point, but... Uh... Wait, it's... why are there mutant diglets all over the screen? Yeah. <laughs> Um, considering this is boom, there's going to be some strange enemies here. Dig, 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 dig. <laughs> yeah, this is. Oh, and you notice the timer? We're still only a third of the, two thirds of the way through. This is that's level, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, once you're in, once you're in the womb, the uh, all the enemies do one hit of one heart of damage. So it's uh, the habit book of revelations combo isn't as game breaking. I, I, I don't even want to fathom the logic behind this. What? Well, that there is a there is a very used slot machine in Isaac's mother's womb. Yeah, or the fact that you're back inside your mother's womb. 
<laughs> oh, it gets it gets much better later on. You know, you just you've just grown up as a small child, and now you've crawled back inside your mother's womb. Yeah. Um, I'm killing you. Surely somebody <laughs> somebody can make Yahtzee's life is symmetrical joke somewhere. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh god, I remember now. Oh yeah. Here's here's something fun. The Larry Juniors, the ones with the huge teeth, and the Chub, they don't mix well. Because if you notice the the Chub tried to spawn enemies. But because it's losing it, it's missing its ass. It's not doing anything. <laughs> oh, and they oh. they pretty much work like Dodongos in that if they charge at you and there's a bomb. Hmm. Isn't it fun? <laughs> yeah. I like his, like his expression when he needs a bomb as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, this is one of Meat Boy's worst enemies. Not only in the actual his actual game, but in this one as well, because he's just too fast. <laughs> I see like trying to poop a worm. <laughs> um, by this time I was just getting pissed off because he just wasn't dying. So look at that. To hug him. Look at that look at that health bar. It's just it didn't want to die. Uh health horses tend to glitch out when there are more than one enemy. Oh yeah, yeah, no, it's it's not as funny as this as the glitch I showed in that other video. Yeah. <laughs> when it went negative. Yeah, when the health bar actually left the uh, confines and decided to explore the left of the screen. That was it. Yeah, I decided to pick. Yeah, I decided to pick up the burnt penny because I figured I might. I need the bombs. Oh, and the moon card. Teleport you to the secret room. And because I didn't want to fight this bastard again, I decided to hide, hot tail it out of there. Oh, you might. You might be able to tell what this enemy does. It follows your movements and imitates your shots. And because I wasn't shooting, I'm not gonna do anything. Did Meat Boy just push your bomb there? Yeah, he was playing. He was playing football with the bomb. Yeah, that's one of the uh, things. Just about as random as playing uh, yeah. croquet with a thunder hammer and a melt bomb. Mm. I mean, I was trying to blow open the door so I could just get the hell out of there, but uh, no, he had to play football. Well, football. It's very annoying at times when you're trying to open up a secret room and he just says, Hey guys, what's going on in this thread? <laughs> oh, that's reminding me of school. Good old hey, death ball. <laughs> football with a rock. Oh, cool. Oh, awesome. Oh, and the Hermit. It, if there's no shop, it just acts as a random teleport, which I thought I'd give a try, and it didn't go well. Oh, and those leeches, they are very annoying. They, they act like um, faster flying versions of the of the maggots that I don't the saw. The leeches remind me of something as well. Uh, so, many, so many references. Of course. If, if, it, if it was any more blatant, it would just be plagiarism. No, I... <laughs> The good old trick to get rid of that. I was inspired by it. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's fine after that. Yeah. I was inspired by this game. Uh, what are you talking about? This is Minecraft, not Minecraft. And yes, we're called yeah, Zong. They, they, there's some patent troll in the US trying to actually yeah. sue um, Minecraft, um, well, Mojang at the moment. Yeah. And they actually misspelled Minecraft as Minecraft. Exactly. In the, uh, That's their suit. reference from. Oh. I'm not stealing, I'm referencing. <laughs> but yeah, that that chub was even faster than its usual, so uh, I had to bomb it to death to put it out of its You're room. running low on bombs now. Oh, yes. Oh, I've got so many bullets. Oh, yeah, it's... Is, is this where playing Two Who games comes in handy? Uh, Toho games. <laughs> um, yeah, Toho, sorry. Oh, time. Uh... Yeah. I mean, the little cube of meter up there, they block some shots, but otherwise I'm kind of just having to run on... Uh, Hoping I can actually dodge the fucking things. Whoop, whoops, I swore. Uh, what's the rust? Rust of the key doing? I think it's meant to spawn, you know, increase your chances of getting a treasure chest at the end of the room. But I wanted more bombs. And I don't think I even picked up a single coin after this, so I'm, you know, a little pissed off. Yeah, look at the leeches go. Oh, yeah. If you might have noticed, the Book of Revelation still does get use. It's just, instead of, you know, making you invulnerable, it just doubles your health bar, if you're lucky enough. You know, what was it? I can't remember now, but um, yeah. It's just going to be like this for ten more minutes, well, eight more minutes, just watching Meat Boy chase enemies around again. <laughs> it, it's oh, amazing well. that we've been commenting for this long. <laughs> oh, and <laughs> the Aces... I, yeah. I, I thought time's gone by very, very quick, to be fair, but... Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't remember why I came back to this room. I, oh yeah, to pick up that piece of crap card. 
I thought I'd try and get more stuff out of it, you know, soul heart and such, but in the end, I just left it. Oh, and so guess why did day? <laughs> no, I didn't blow it up. I don't know why. It's like, why? I'm all for explosions. Awesome. Alright, more babies. More demon diglets and more. Oh god. <laughs> oh, there's there's wing versions that that shoot three shots. Uh, say what? Yeah, they're meant to be angel babies, and they're even more demonic. I mean, they don't have blood on them, but uh, well. <laughs> oh, and be glad this isn't the uh, what's called the utero except or the utero, because even stronger enemies, including um, double, en what was it? Enemies that have invulnerable sides and weak sides. Um, if that makes sense, you know. Sort the, of, yeah. You know, the t one one of them chases you and is you know really strong and invincible. Uh, the other is meant to be defended by the by the invincible enemy. If that makes sense. It it it'll... Oh yeah, it's it's sort of like one axe as a shield essentially, and you basically got to go for the juicy squishy core. Yes, basically. Mm. I didn't go into that challenge room in the end because you need, you need to have one heart to go there, and I'm like, fuck that. Yeah, as you can tell, these leeches are quick, and there's yeah. variations that explode. Bit. Which instead of a mouth, they have an eyeball. This. Oh God! Here come the uh, it... hungover prize of Sauron again. Oh God! <laughs> oh man. Imagine Not... if the Eye of Sauron could actually do that. If it could, I would be scared. Uh, oh. that, that'd make a completely different ending for Lord of the Rings. Yeah. And they all died. Yeah. It the fell, it, it fell over because it was trying to get into the shower. Do you think this is some sort of Chinese love story? Everyone dies. <laughs> no, that, that's Romeo and Juliet. I think. No. If, if oh you... god, I have to I have to reference it now. You bite your thumb at me, sir. I bite my thumb, but not at you, sir. Oh. <laughs> if if you if you didn't notice, the coloured leech dropped an item because it was a champion form, which means it's stronger and more annoying. And uh, there's another champion enemy. It costs extra points to add to your army. Yes. Uh, I made a Warhammer reference. Oh lord. <sighs> but yeah, uh, champion enemies are strong, stronger in some way or faster, but they drop items. As you will see in about two minutes, once Meat Boy actually <laughs> killed them. And there it is. It dropped a bomb. And yeah, I couldn't. I didn't have a use for that pearl because you need to shoot to use it. Actually, I've I've just thought of another game that slightly reminds me of. Um, oh, you see that troll bomb there? It didn't. Hurt. No, I missed it. <laughs> oh, never mind. Again. Then. Oh, um, I, the game lagged here because of fraps, I think. I decided to pick up that lovely pill because I knew what it could do. Bad trip. Yeah. Oh, here we go. The two bosses in one go, technically. Oh, yeah. The Fallen. It, he acts a lot like Krampus because Krampus was based off of the Fallen, but he has an extra. He has a couple of extra attacks, I think. One being yeah, just rushes. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. I was just going to say the other game that this slightly reminds me of is um oh, I can't remember the name of it. It was on Mega Drive, uh, Super Smash TV or something. Yeah, it it is sort of like that. Um, I remember that game. I, was, I had it on the PlayStation at one point. Yeah, I think one of the Call of Duty games, which I'll never play, ever had like a tribute to it on one of them. Oh wow. Oh yeah, that was. Uh... I can't remember the name of it now, but it's from Black Ops. Yeah, it's, uh, that's yeah. the game it was on, but. Um, yeah, that was a tribute to Super Smash TV. Yeah, I think that's the name of it. But yeah, it's it has been described as being a mix-up between Zelda and that. But yeah, these guys are much worse, or the Fallen is much worse than Krampus because he can split up in two and still be as effective as he us usually is. Except this. Hold, him. Hold on a second. At the end of the uh, boss's health meter there, I swear that was an icon from uh, Newgrounds or something. Oh yeah, this is based... This is this got hosted on Newgrounds, like a demo, I think. Uh, well, you can find a demo on Newgrounds or somewhere. But yeah, there there is a flash game of this. Yeah, which this, was these guys all. basically started on Newgrounds, if I remember correctly. But yeah, here's the and, final and, and boss. what the holy shit are we watching? Yeah, <laughs> the final boss. What is this? It lives. It's it's a fetus. It's fine. It's just save the mother's wound. Yeah, it's normally meant to be uh, just your mom's heart, but if you've managed to kill her enough. And I do say that without even a scent of uh, irony. Um, it turns into It Lives, which is basically Isaac in the womb! 
Oh. Yeah. God. So you attack the team. Oh, oh but it gets. And it spawns bosses instead of enemies, I see. Yeah, it spawns boss. Um, it spawns cellar bosses at you uh, for trying to kill it. And other le lovely high level enemies. If you can't tell, you're normally meant to shoot these guys in the back of the head, but, uh, well, you know. Meat, meat Boy's certainly chowing down. Oh, yeah, he's having a whale of a time. <laughs> Look at him go. Again. I, I can imagine yeah. him munching his way through all of these uh, dungeons gives him quite high cholesterol. Well, he, he's running all over the damn place, so he doesn't really... He's, he's fine. Yeah, but, but a diet consisting purely of red meat can't do much good for, for a person. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, um... Dietary advice in my, in my, in my Binding of Isaac playthrough? No. <laughs> well, considering one of the items you get is a bucket of lard that gives you two, hit, two whole hearts but slows you down. Think on that. Or dog food. Well, yeah. You can, you can even get raw liver, which does the same effect, but you don't get slowed down. Oh, and here we go. Here, here comes the reason why I wish I'd saved bombs. See, that's yeah. what it's meant to do normally. It's meant to spawn those little uh, maggots that chase you. The thing that the thing that I, that weirds me out about this boss monster is the fact that it looks so cute and cuddly until it opens its jaws. Yeah, it's the same with the tiny. Um, with the tiny grubs that it shoots out. I mean, look at that one. When it... Oh, Aww, can't see it's it. so cute. Oh, God, the te... I think... <laughs> yeah, I think at one point I had to take a call with this, so it's like, pauses for a couple of seconds. You won't notice oh, it, don't worry. So, so unprofessional, Jake, honestly. <laughs> you would be glad I cut out most of the uh, time wasted. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Get to see my stats. <laughs> Editing. But, yeah. That's hard. Yeah, you're going to see a lot of that when I do my uh, Final Fantasy IX playthrough. Yeah. Oh god, random encounters. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what was it? Um, yeah, here, here's how I was, here's why I wish I had kept more of the bombs. I would have been able to kill this guy faster. Because they, bas they basically act like the Dodongos from Legend of Zelda. Mm. Except, you know, they look more like giant maggots. But yeah, if you pay attention to the bad trip pill for in a minute or so, you will notice why I kept it. Hopefully. Oh, maybe. I'm I'm looking forward to this now. Oh yes, because you'll notice I my like health. Know myself. You, so. You'll notice my health bar is dangerously low. What does what does medicine do if you're if you're not um, unhealthy? Th you know, much as I hate to make such a very convoluted reference. Medicine isn't very um, useful if you're if you're actually healthy. No, not at all. But if you're very unhealthy, then it can be very useful, as will become apparent in about another two minutes when I get hit. <laughs> Forget Some, what I <laughs> Some yeah. I, I this yeah. Bit, I, I'm looking forward to this now. This better not disappoint me. But you're building up too much, though. It's yeah, be sorry. Fun. I'm building up now. Oh yeah, and so once, once you do enough damage to the heart, it starts spewing out bombs of blood. But yeah, I think I actually... I think I... yeah, I used the uh, Book of Revelations there out of panic. <laughs> then realized, wait a minute, I have this! Full health! Oh. It's very useful. Full health! It's very useful if you use it at the right time, which is when you're at death's door. Hi there. <laughs> Don't mention death, he's gonna appear again. And... <sighs> it was over. Technically I could have gone down another floor, but I didn't need to, so I just grabbed the treasure and ran. Which meant... This is credits! With treasure! The credits with very creepy uh, version of Jesus Loves You. And this goes on for another minute and a half, I think. Yeah, the, um... That... Singing in the background sort of reminds me of uh, Final Boss of Final Fantasy IX again, with like the just the low the, drone the boning thing. and such. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh god, I've got to, I've still got to go through that. <laughs> yeah, I'll oh, have fun with that. But yeah, here's all the names of all the lovely annoyances. The Eternal Flies are basically the shinies. Bee liquor. What does the B stand for? I don't want to know. <laughs> but considering they all, you saw how they acted when there were three or more of them before you shot them or killed them. True. Yeah. But yeah. Also, uh, just going back there, there was one of the sins. Uh, yeah. Oh, I forgot the name now. Bomberman. Yeah, Wrath That's is so. basically Bomberman in uh, diff in the form of a Christian sin. 
<laughs> yeah. That seems legit. Some of these bosses really are quite grotesque later on. Yeah, um, just looking through it, just thinking, dear god, what was this guy on when he conceived this? Oh, look at that spider. Yeah, see, the Mask mm. of Infamy is like a boss version of the of the shield and weak enemies. You know, one of them is... Wait, hang on. If, yeah, if, if, sorry, going back, that that foot was a boss. That, if that's a, that's that's a boss in uh, head, that's, head burning. Yeah, <laughs> the, the foot is meant to be mom. That's her main attack, stomping on you with a high heel. What level is that in? Uh, that was meant to be the second depth, but I accidentally... You skipped that part. I technically skipped it by going to the error room. Oh, You're yeah. meant to fight her, but uh, I skipped her, yeah. And here are the... I guess that's over now. It's... Mm-hmm. I imagine it's been fun for everyone to- listening here. And... Um, I, I'm... I, I, I'm gonna have horrible nightmares. <laughs> oh, come on, it's not that horrible. It's not that grotesque. It's not that horrible. It's just about a small child being chased by his demented brothers and sisters, possessed by some sort of demon, shoving coat hangers and getting cancer and whatnot. It's and fine, murdering his mother. It's really fine. Oh, murdering his own mother and then himself in fetal form. Nothing to worry about. I mean, in the next floor you killed Satan, so it's all right. There is, oh, there is so, so many different things that are being touched on in that, but yeah. Yeah, it, it's, basically, uh. it's basically the binding of Isaac as seen through a modern lens. It's worrying. But yeah, I hope everyone on YouTube has enjoyed watching this and listening to us ramble for about bullshit for next to an hour. What I thank the you. Fuck? <laughs> I thank you all for. I thank you all guys for helping me with this. Uh, that's orphan. Hello. Goodbye. Uh, yeah, Dagan. <laughs> Good day. And we're bad. Good day. And we, Jake, Bob, Smeg, and again, we we thank you for watching. Uh, goodbye.